A rectangular tabletop will be made of maple wood that weighs 43 pounds per cubic foot. The tabletop will have a length of 8 feet, a width of 3 feet, and a thickness of 1 inch. Determine and state the weight of the tabletop in pounds. So the information that's given here, that 43 pounds per cubic foot, that is a, um, that is a density information here of the wood. And I'm going to label that, I'm going to call this D sub W, which is equal to 43 pounds per one cubic feet, so one feet cubed. The tabletop, I'm going to draw myself a tabletop. It doesn't hurt to be good at art in math because it definitely helps with visualization. Uh, but if you're not, if, if you feel like you're not good at art, you know, I encourage you to, you know, just make some doodles and, and um, you know, get into it. Draw and, and try to yeah, um, model the things that you see. Any little bit of um, artistic representation or developing that skill will help immensely. Um, not just in math, but you know, in all different aspects of life as well. So I have this tabletop, and let's just label the dimensions here. Um, I remember I said the thickness of one inch, right? So this guy right here is one inch. But the only thing is the, the uh, density is in cubic feet. So I want to convert that. Instead of writing it as one inch, I want to write this as one twelfth of a foot because there are 12 inches in... A foot, right? So one inch is going to be one twelfth, and the uh, the tabletop has dimensions of uh, th uh, of eight and by three. So this is going to be eight and three feet. So units matter here greatly, okay? And this is the one place that they're looking to throw you off to that one inch. So you got to be careful. So the volume of the tabletop is going to be uh, length times width times height. So 8 times 3 times 12, times 1 12. And if you look at this, 3 goes into 12 4 times. So I'm going to be left with 8 times 1 fourth, and 4 goes into 8 twice, so it's just going to be 2. But uh, And again, the units matter here. This is going to be 2 feet cubed. How do I know that? Because 8 here has a unit of feet, 3 a unit of feet, and 1 twelfth a unit of a, of a foot. So foot times foot times foot is foot cubed. Okay, so that's the volume of the tabletop. Now I need to figure out what is the weight of the, of the entire tabletop. So what I'm going to do is I want to take this 2 cubic feet, and I'm going to multiply this by 43 pounds per one foot cubed here. How do, how do I know that I am not dividing? Well, that's because if I were to divide, I will end up with something like this, right? Two feet cubed, 43 pounds goes on the bottom, and one foot cubed goes on the top then, right? And this wouldn't make any sense because if I were to multiply this across and then divide, I'll end up with feet to the sixth power divided by pounds, which doesn't make any sense. But if I were to multiply across over here with this guy, notice that I have cubic feet both in the numerator and denominator. The cubic feet will therefore cancel. And then the only units left will be in pounds. So the final answer then will be 86 pounds. That's the weight of the tabletop. So this is not a good way to approach it, okay? And this is uh, a skill called dimensional analysis comes in really, really useful.